Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Creator Connections Readings. My name is Jean, and this is going to be a pick a pile reading to see a message from, I just wanted to say from your creator. Uh, my intention was to put out a message from your angels, from God, but yeah, let's get a message from creator. War not. So we have four piles to pick from as usual. For pile number one, we have this really cute coral piece for pile number two we have this beautiful feather i didn't think you'd actually be able to see the colors but yeah it's a very old feather uh and i picked it up like this but I like i like the colors then for pile number three we have this i think this is a hornet's nest that i picked up yesterday not sure if it's a hornet's nest. If somebody knows, please let me know. I would really like to know. And then for pile number four, we have this really cute dragon. Oh, God. Standing on a rose quartz, holding a rose quartz, basically standing and giving it just a love, right? So, yeah, those are the four piles to pick from to, once again, see uh, a message from God, your angels, whatever. Pick your pile and I will see you there. Satnam pile number one for those of you who picked this coral stone this is going to be a reading to see what message do you have from god from your angels from spirit let's see what's happening okay just hold on anyway uh we have the death rebirth okay we also have the Nine of Swords. You saw my face like, mm. um, okay, and child. Oh, there came another one. Let's see what that is. Queen of Air. I just heard, mm. okay, well, okay, so we have Death, Rebirth, the Child, and the Ace of Pentacles. I just heard somebody, two, two, two. I heard somebody might be losing a child right or lost a child okay i do however see that this loss of a child is going to be leading to some kind of a um abundance um for some reason i actually felt like there might be somebody around you um somebody i i heard that somebody wanted to take out a child uh for money okay um, it's this queen of swords somebody I'm, I'm hearing like a like an abortion i'm hearing spiritual abortion i'm hearing something like that um what's happening what the fuck is this energy just let me feel this quickly what it, what does power number one need to know because this energy doesn't feel very good, okay? I feel like either somebody might have lost a child or somebody planned on actually, um, like, unaliving a child in order to get some kind of money, okay? Um, let me get let me get more cards because I'm quite honestly not sure. Something feels very hidden uh, here. Even though the cards are actually quite good, like usually I would read the death rebirth as like, you know, it's a rebirth. This energy feels very, um, feels very dense to me. Okay. I'm even hearing like child slavery. What the fuck? The chariot two of cups. Like selling their child or something like that. Maybe this was you. Maybe you were the child. Just bear with me, pile number one. Uh, this is a weird energy that I'm feeling, and I'm really not sure what I am feeling, quite honestly. And I keep seeing the chariots as well. So there is about to be some kind of movement forward, some kind of... Um, the chariot is even giving me some kind of like a revelation vibe, or uh, like I'm, I'm now seeing somebody coming, walking into the, into the city with trumpets blaring, okay? So if the two of cups reverse... We have the chariot. We have the ace of cups reverse. And we have the four of cups reverse. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god. The fool in reverse. <clears throat> 
you know what I'm feeling here? I'm actually feeling, I'm actually feeling um, that maybe some kind of love situation didn't work out because somebody had a child, okay? And this child was their stability or this child was their home or this child was um, something like that, okay? Or is something like that, okay? Um, now, however, I am feeling some kind of energy with the Two of Cups reverse and the Chariot. I'm feeling somebody's actually like willing to walk away from from a child okay i'm actually feeling somebody is willing to walk away from um the stability that they had because maybe this person's partner was utilizing or maybe this person was just utilizing a child in order to get some kind of finance in order to get some kind of um abundance or something like that okay um, I feel like, I feel like, Eight of Wands, yeah, there's about to be Eight of Swords, there's about to be a whole lot of uh, movement, okay? I feel like somebody is about to leave a child, or about to leave some kind of very um, grounded force, and again, I feel like this grounded force, I know this energy might seem a bit like boo 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 but just bear with me as I detangle this, okay? I feel, that, again, this child might have been some kind of like grounding force for this person, or for you, I feel like that's about to change, like, I feel like somebody is somebody somebody is about to 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 either lose a child or or leave a child okay um if if, if for some of you might have had some kind of um like a, a, a miscarriage or something i actually feel like this happened because of some kind of very intense heartache okay if you are planning if somebody is planning on leaving a child i feel like it is because of some kind of intense heartache as well okay maybe they even found out that the child isn't theirs or something i'm hearing a yes um, because otherwise there wouldn't be really be an excuse to leave a child, right? Uh, but I feel like this person wants to leave this child because there was some kind of death situation, um, or, 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 or something like that. And it's because of some kind of like love situation not working out. Um, either way, somebody is willing to either leave a child or somebody lost a child and it was because of, um, like heartache or something. Am I making sense? This feels like a very weird energy to me, quite honestly, pile number one. I'm not too sure what's happening here. I'm not too sure what's happening here, okay? Like, I feel actually a bunch of energies here. Uh, like a bunch of... Yeah, Ten of Cups. I feel like maybe... Like, maybe somebody, maybe somebody even gave up some kind of a, a two of cups situation for a ten of cups again because they were like in some kind of a, 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 um, because they were in some kind of a bind with this child and something with this child had to do with money, okay? Something about this had to do with money. Um, this child, some, I don't know, okay? Um, if not money, maybe stability or a home or something like that, okay? But I see somebody, I see a complete death coming to that. Um, I see somebody, something transpiring where a death occurs, okay? Um, this might be, this might be a physical death, but I'm hearing no. I feel like this is more like a, a death of, oh, look at this, the Empress. Um, I feel like... Yeah, somebody might have been married with a child, but there's a death coming to that. There's a death coming to that whole situation. Um, uh, it's because I feel like the, the death is also coming because there's no love. And because there's no love, there is no life. So the situation is just bound to end, okay? Um, I feel like maybe somebody was, like, utilizing a child, Um to get money, to get da 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 da, and your person or somebody chose this, they chose their child, but now they're finding out that the child might not be theirs, or um, I don't know, the child is just very um, like not into them as a parent or something like that. I don't know. Uh, let's get one more card. I hope this, I, I don't think this uh, pile number one makes a lot of sense, but like, I'm just going to leave it as such because that's what comes up. 
yeah, Prince of, Princess of Cups. Now I feel like somebody wants to bring in some kind of offer, some kind of clarity, maybe some kind of... Um, maybe some kind of like 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 truth as well about like why they acted the way they acted is what i'm hearing or why they uh didn't choose you or why they chose uh uh, uh the uh, uh, the child or something uh let me let me quickly get what exactly i feel like what i've been saying is somewhat true but let me just get one um one quick card for the child what exactly uh what exactly is this child um and the, the this person's relation with the child. Uh, just one card, please. I feel like somebody had a choice between some kind of community or family or a child and you, Paula Luan. But I feel like the choice didn't have to be there. Like, the, the choice wasn't necessary. Seven of Wands, yeah, but this person felt like very conflicted and very defensive, okay, because they thought that the stability is what they wanted or something, but now they're like in some kind of heartache or something, okay. Um, I'm just going to get one more of these cards and then uh, we're going to continue because this was a very strange energy for me to... Uh, like a very tangled energy. I feel like this person might feel very tangled. But again, I see some kind of death coming to that situation. And hopefully, you know, we pray that it's not a physical death. I don't think it will be. Um, and if it is a physical death, it's probably like a miscarriage or something, okay? Maybe somebody didn't even lose a child. Maybe it was just a pregnancy that somebody lost uh, because of a lack of love or something. To a fire, yeah. And I feel like this person, uh, maybe this person, again, yeah, queen of air, this person chose maybe this uh, weird, uh, like, stable situation over you or something like that. Um, uh, but now they're noticing be because of this death, or they're going to be noticing, this might even be you, because of this death that they need to return to you or that they want to return to you rather or something like that, okay? Because I feel like maybe this person, this person, maybe this person actually sees that you can be a Ten of Cups together, but it's in the down right now because like something else was decided or changed or something like that, okay? Um... Yeah, uh, Paula Moran, I feel like that's sufficient. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you again for another one. Satnam, bye. Satnam, pile number four. For, oh, pile number two. Maybe you can check out pile number four. Pile number two, for those of you who picked this green feather, this is going to be your reading. Your, your reading <laughs> to see what is the message from God, from your angels. What do you need to know, okay? I'm being told to get from the top. I almost did not. The counselor. I'm hearing in need of healing. I'm hearing specifically heart healing and sacral healing. And I'm also hearing solar plexus. Now I'm again being drawn to the heart. Two of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely child. This is definitely some kind of healing necessary um, in regards to a, like I want to say a love situation, a family situation, something like that. Okay, let me feel this out quickly. Now I'm hearing healer of the ages. <clears throat> I'm hearing sexual healing. You know what I feel like, Paul number two? I feel like you are very healing to people. I feel like you carry a very sexual, sensual energy about you without even trying. Um, I feel like, I feel like also somebody might be missing you. Somebody might be missing your sexual healing. Even if you've never had sex with this person, I feel like somebody's just missing that alluringness of you. Um, somebody is missing that. I'm even hearing like freedom of expression that you exude, okay? Um, I do want to say like a, a, another message coming up here, pile number two, is that like you are meant to be some kind of healer or some kind of um, tranquil like source or something. Um, I'm even hearing like for some of you, you might heal people's love lives or something like that. Okay. And now I'm again being drawn to the fact that somebody might be missing you. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to be single. Or this might be you. You might be still on some kind of journey of, of healing at your own love life as well, okay? Um, and now, again, like I keep getting some kind of external force. Yeah, Ace of Swords wanting to come in and, and, and help you with that. Somebody wants to come in and actually help you heal, okay? Or heal with you, rather. Something like that. 
I'm, I'm also hearing them again seeing the Ace of Swords. You are about to, and I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles. You are about to experience some kind of miraculous healing um, in an A2 of Cups situation, okay? This might be, this might be uh, somebody new. I'm hearing specifically somebody or something random, okay? Ace of Pentacles. So I think this is somebody or something new, pile number two. What's happening for pile number two? What do they need to know? Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like somebody was left out. I feel like somebody was left out of some kind of stability. This is the energy that keeps coming up in my readings, okay? Um, now I'm being said, Venus, I'm told Venus return. Uh, hangman, okay? Uh, so maybe Venus is doing something, right? Um... I feel like somebody was left out of, of a home, okay? I feel like somebody was left out of um, receiving what was theirs, which is this Queen of Pentacles status. I wouldn't be surprised if the King of Pentacles shows himself. Well, as I'm saying that, I'm seeing the devil, which is Capricorn energy, okay? Um, somebody wasn't offered the, the, the status or the position or something like that, like the, the, the ring or something like that, that they were supposed to get. Okay. I feel like, um, if you didn't receive something, pal number two, I feel like God wants you to know that it's because it wasn't either not the time or it wasn't the person. Okay. Um, because maybe it would have like, instead of you being a queen of pentacles, you should be an empress, which is like all of the, the, the elements, uh, combined. Right. But, but that is what I'm feeling. If you didn't receive something, it could be, it could be because of, of like, it could have, it could have even been because of financial matters I'm hearing now. Okay. Um, there could have been, again, also some kind of child in the works. You might have, you might be a single mother, you might be a single parent or something like that. Um, that could have played a role as well. Okay. But definitely somebody is, <clears throat> in some kind of emotional turmoil because of a wrong judgment that they made, okay? Um, yeah, here's the King of Pentacles. Um, maybe go check out pile number one, but I'm actually being told the two are not related, okay? Even though the stories might be very similar, like, I don't think this is related. The sun. <clears throat> what am I feeling? Hmm... But so I do see, I do see because you are some kind of like healer, because you are some kind of, because you carry some kind of healing, um, emotional healing, sexual energy around you. Um, I do see that something is about to be, um, like falling into your lap or just like breaking out of nowhere, coming out of nowhere. Um, and this very much is in regards to love. This very much is in regards to some kind of commitment. Okay. Um, because I feel like also, also what I wanted to say, this is what I wanted to say. If you didn't receive something recently or in the past that you still can't get over with it was because that was still part of your healing that was still part of your learning curve okay eight of wands reverse three of cups reverse and the seven of wands and the seven of pentacles so i do need to say first of all ten of cups first of all okay i feel like you've already waited quite a while i feel like you've already waited quite a, and i also feel like you've um <clears throat> like with the three of cups reverse you've rejected a lot of opportunities or you've walked away from a lot of opportunities or something like that um uh I don't want to say it was because you were defensive, but I, it was kind of because you were defensive, okay? But I feel like this defensiveness is very um, apt in this situation because instead of you having, again, instead of you having just the, 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 the queen of pentacles status, you want to be the empress, which is you are that person's everything and they are your everything. In a sense of like, not in a needy kind of sense, but in a sense of like, you can really rely on each other. Like, you understand, like a, a real two of cups situation, right? I do see, I do see that you might have to wait a little bit longer, um, but that is in order for you to have this complete emotional fulfillment, okay? That is in order for you to have this complete um, emotional, I'm hearing emotional drawback, emotional um, happiness, right? 
but there is definitely there is definitely mm, there is definitely oh beautiful there's definitely somebody coming in with some kind of offer or with some kind of um gift or something like that okay um but this is very much dependent on how much you heal with yourself okay death this is actually something that's going to come back from the dead okay um again this might be either a certain person i feel like it's a new person but b because of this um the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups showing itself. It might be a different person, but with a similar consciousness, okay? Because, again, all the people you were meeting might have been your masculine or feminine, just in different bodies or different aspects of them that was preparing you for this um, ultimate union or ultimate reunion or something like that, okay? Yeah, look at that. Union and the Nine of Swords. Ace of Swords. I feel like both of you... Um, whether you know this person or not, but both of, of you are in some kind of like, um, nine of swords, uh, energy, uh, due to like over this union. And again, I feel like it's because there's quite honestly, a lot of karmic things that had to be, um, like balanced out, especially with this, uh, body mind. And there's a seven of pentacles again. I'm hearing they say that good things take time, but really great things happen in a blink of an eye. So I'm feeling like you might still be feeling like you're in this waiting period, but God is saying like, it's going to come, it's actually going to come much faster than you think. And I actually feel like this offer, this new thing that's going to uh, fall into your lap is going to happen when you are still feeling very like, um, insecure, very anxious and very defensive about what it is that you want and what it is that you need is what I'm hearing here, okay? <clears throat> and now being drawn again to the feather and I'm hearing you can definitely expect some kind of communication, but just know this union is, is going to require work. This relationship is going to require like the both of you, like, like meeting each other halfway, okay? Because I see both of you are dealing with some kind of anxiety, some kind of issue, okay? Um, and I, I feel like, I feel like if it's not about money or stability, I feel like it's because, um, like the both of you might, might lack feeling safe with a person, even with your own selves. Okay. Uh, so that is also, I just flipped the seven of pen, uh, the seven of wands over. Okay. Um, like over so that it showed the backside and that it was upside down. So maybe that's the thing. It's just your lack of feeling safe with yourself that makes you feel a lack um, of feeling safe with this person. And this person is reflecting that to you or this person's consciousness is reflecting that to you. Um, so just be aware something, something is going to come very sudden as you still feel like you're waiting and dredging and trudging forward. Okay. Two, 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 two. I just saw. Thank you so much for number two. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you again for another one. Sub Bye. Satnam Pal number three for those of you who picked this hornet's nest. This nest. This is going to be a reading to see uh, what does God want you to know. Message from God. Already, I can say that I heard um, everything is not as you expect it, and that's a confirmation as well. Okay, everything is not as it seems as well. Okay. Um, Something, it might actually even be that something good, you feel like you might be, I'm hearing manifesting something good or receiving something good or somebody is saying something good to you, but actually um, it's not okay. Or it could actually even be better than you think. So let's see. Destiny and the Nine of Swords. Yeah. Okay. This can go a lot of ways. Um, the Maiden, Ten of Swords, Masculine, Feminine. This is again giving me some kind of Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. This is again giving me some kind of energy of um, like Persephone and Hades, okay? Um, Two of Cups, as I'm saying that, look at that. And the Ace of Swords. I feel like... I feel like there is some kind of trade-off, okay, that you're going to have to do that um, in order to have some kind of love, in order to have some kind of relationship, okay? I feel like there's, or in order to, for some of you, you might actually be married, um, for some of you might already be in a relationship, like in order for this to, to, to progress, there's going to have to be some kind of trade-off. Um, this feels like, this feels like... Um, Either you or your person or both of you might be in a lot of anxiety or fear due to the bigness of a connection, okay? Due to the bigness of a connection that you feel, that you felt, that you experienced, okay? 
<clears throat> I'm even getting, I'm even getting me going into that energy of saying like everything is not as it seems. Something might, something good might actually be bad. Um, I feel like that is the anxiety, okay? Because the nine of swords is just anxiety. It is just fear, okay? And fear is never true, okay? The only truth is love, right? The only truth is real connection. Um, so let's let's get a little bit deeper into that as well. Prince of Pentacles. Maybe something's been slower uh, than you've wanted it to be, okay? Maybe, like, maybe you are this maiden and you feel like you're losing your maidenhood or something like that because of something being slow. Uh, but something's about to stop. Something's about to be stopped being juggled, okay? I'm feeling a lot of density in my sacral, two of swords. There's, there, there's definitely a choice that needs to be made as well, okay? And I feel like this choice is between love and fear, okay? This choice is between destiny and anxiety. So for pile number three, everything, I keep hearing everything is not as it seems. Everything is not what you expect or not what you think. Eight of pentacles, three of wands. Two of Swords. And the Devil. See, there's Hades, okay? Four of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Fool Reverse. Um, I feel like, pile number three, I feel like you might have, you might have misjudged a situation, actually, okay? Ace of Pentacles Reverse and the Star. You might have actually, you might have, um recently come into contact or you might have met some kind of devil figure you might have met Hades or like uh you know that kind of energy um and you might have misjudged it for some for 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 an actual satanic energy instead of it being just a very dark a very gloomy energy you misjudged it for being evil or impure okay um i feel like this led to some kind of like um yeah, this led to some interesting, this led to some kind of missed opportunity or rejection rather, okay, which, which, which didn't, which made a new beginning not happen. Hades is also like the god of the underworld, okay, uh, meaning he has all of the gems, all of the riches at his disposal. Um, so maybe you, um, maybe either you or, 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 or Hades, maybe either you or your lover rejected this because, um, because you 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 had some kind of misjudgment or you you couldn't make a choice because you felt maybe maybe you also felt unsafe or maybe you felt that this uh being was being devilish towards you but actually it was just a devil or actually it was just Hades or just a very dark a very gloomy consciousness okay um but it wasn't evil it was never evil it was never there to hurt you so now i feel like with the eight of pentacles the three of wands and the two of swords i feel like i feel like there I'm, I'm hearing to say there's still hope and i'm hearing to say there's still a plan i don't know what that is about okay um but this is depending on whether you choose to work on the, like this destiny this this destined uh connection or this destined um job maybe um and whether you choose to expand uh into that okay and i'm seeing the star there's just some kind of healing and understanding necessary um again i'm being drawn to the fact that you might have thought this was some kind of devil but actually it was just a dark and gloomy like it was actually hades to your persephone okay <clears throat> the moon yeah King of Cups. Yeah, there was definitely some kind of very dark energy surrounding you and the King of Pentacles, okay? Uh, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles together is giving me the star again, is giving me again this Hades vibes. Um, in a sense of like, again, Hades is the king of the underworld, you know, has a lot to do with the, with the physical wealth of the, of the, of the earth. And also the king of cups with the moon is giving me a lot of dark Scorpio vibes. And Scorpio is also connected with the underworld, connected with the hidden, with the occult, very dark energies. Okay. Um, very secretive as well. So maybe there was a choice that was made in order to be because of this fear, because of this anxiety, right? Um, but what do you need to know though? Like, where is this leading? Where is this leading? Let me get one more card. 
the wheel of fortune reverse being told to do that and being told to get from the top the star I actually see some kind of like healing coming to this situation, okay? Because it is destiny, okay? Nine of Swords reverse, yeah. Ace of Pentacles, exactly. And the Four of Swords. I see you, Six of Swords. I see you actually very quickly, uh, very quickly uh, going, going somewhere. And I'm seeing the devil again. I'm seeing you actually very quickly going somewhere or towards somebody or somebody going towards you. Um, this might be, this, this, this might be again, uh, I I feel like it is this devil it is this like hades energy this energy that you uh misjudged why am i seeing the empress reverse and the emperor reverse i feel like i feel like you might actually be this empress reverse because of this misjudgment or, or this this misjudgment you called you called um judgment on something that wasn't like you weren't seeing it completely as it had to be okay so you walked away from your throne or you walked away from your the Hades to, you, to your Persephone, okay, is what I'm feeling here. But I feel like there is going to be some kind of healing. There is going to be some kind of even rejuvenation, okay? But it's going to require, it's going to require a lot of, um, it's going to require a lot of, a lot of, like, effort or a lot of, um, I don't know, like Hades and Persephone tend to live quite alone, okay? This Empress in Reverse could even be somebody's mother being depressed about this fact that that um, their daughter or their son is leaving or something like that, okay? To go to the underworld for uh, six months out of the year and then come back. You, you, get, you, you understand the story of Persephone and Hades, right? Um, so let's get one more card. Let's get one more card. There's definitely some kind of healing. The star card like, is really jumping up at me. There's definitely some kind of very intense healing. And I also feel like this healing is also not going to be what you expect or how you expect, okay? Ten of Swords with the Seven of Fire. Intuition and Self. Two of Fire. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting for a lot of you, pile number, pile number three, you might actually, yeah, the mother, emotion, intellect, king of cups and maiden, you might actually be in this energy, masculine, feminine, you might actually be in this energy of um, really not caring anymore, like like for some of you, this might have, this might actually be um, either a complete ending and you're like just, just allowing that ending to be, and for some of you... I still feel like there's some kind of healing coming after this ending, okay? Like again, like I said, the the, the nine of the nine of swords is ending, and it's ending in a in a in a ten of swords, okay? Um, but like that is also again then walking through something else, maybe walking um into the actual destiny or walking into your actual um healing or something like that. But I do feel like, I, I, I again, do, this could even be for some of you, maybe for some of you, you were embodying this Persephone energy. And um, like at some point I in my spiritual journey, I felt that the stories of the gods themselves are changing uh, because God is uh, like it's that time. Um, so maybe for some of you, you were this like um, Persephone energy that decided to leave this this energy completely okay but again i feel like it was because something was not clear or something was not seen um i feel like there is definitely a complete ending here to something there's a complete ending to 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 a a a a a, a <clears throat> maybe like even a constant a constant um like worrying about this destiny about this destined love or something like that okay um I feel like, however, this ending, this ending is ultimately the ending of this devil energy, right? Um, and you're going to be shining as a star. But I do need to say again, um, I do feel like this, this devil energy is going to come back. And I feel like once it comes back, you're going to see it even more differently. Um, I feel like you already see it differently now. Uh, you still might be feeling a little bit defensive, but when, but once it comes back, um, it, you're going to see it differently again. Okay. Okay, I feel like that is sufficient. Palm number three. The energies are really dense. 
Um, but I feel like I need to tell you that most of these dense energy are your um, are your own with the nine of swords. It's just your own fears, okay? And I feel like either either way, like if you if you are happy with this being completely ended then you are going to move forward if you're not happy with this being completely ended it is going to heal either way um i feel like you are reaching the stars is what i'm hearing okay thank you so much pile number three that was your reading please do consider liking and subscribing and i will see you again for another one Satnam, bye Satnam pile number four for those of you who picked this really cute dragon holding the rose cord standing on the rose cords this is going to be a reading to see what does god want you to say i'm hearing that is not love so what does god want to say to you what does god want to what is the message from your angels from god from creator so we have intuition and we have integrity and the Seven of Pentacles, Masculine, Feminine, Destiny. I'm actually being told for you, Pile Number Four, that you need to reevaluate uh, what you like, whether you are, yeah, love. Like you need to reevaluate what you think love is, because I, I, I again heard like that is not love, or that is not real love. With the Seven of Pentacles, love and thought, like you need to go sit down and meditate, maybe on again what it is that you experience love to be. Okay. Um, or maybe this could even just be happiness, okay? But so let's let's look a little bit more into the cards. Intuition, integrity. You know what I'm actually getting? I'm actually getting for you, Palmer, for interesting. Maybe you are in this in this energy of thinking you need to, to reevaluate what you think love is. Maybe you are in this energy of thinking that you are not in integrity or something like that, okay? Uh, but your intuition is telling you something different, I feel. That's a confirmation as well. I feel like your, in, your intuition is, is telling you something different. I feel like your intuition is actually telling you that you have been in integrity. Um, and if you did act in any kind of way that was not loving it was purely because of your own darkness of your own um, wounded self you know which was which was which which had to be expressed is what i want to say here okay so if you are on some kind of like spiritual intuitive thing of like are you worthy are you are you in your integrity? Are you morally sound? Or do you have a good heart? That kind of vibe. Um, I feel like the answer is yes, okay? Um, maybe maybe somebody else or something else, I'm hearing a group specifically, maybe thinks that this is not true of you, okay? But I mean, like you are standing and holding the rose quartz, which, which is the epiphany of unconditional love, like in physical form, uh, like in stone form, in crystal form, you know? So um, I feel like maybe somebody might even be trying to, to, to like close you up or like, 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 like blind you from yourself is what I'm feeling here. Okay, but uh, like that being said, yeah, like make you feel defensive towards yourself and to God, maybe. But like I like that being said, I feel like your intuition is not only too strong, but like you are too strong. Okay, like your character is too strong for that. Okay. And again, like that seven of wands is now pop popping up at me again. So maybe it's like you constantly have this, uh, this feel, this feeling of like a, a need to do more or to do better or something like that. But I can guarantee you, like, even if you were like 19, again, 99% good, like that 1%, like you would still like beat yourself up or something like that. But like, I don't want to say that that's good because it's not, but that just speaks of, that just speaks of like the integrity that you actually are. Okay. The hangman, yeah, you're definitely going through some kind of spiritual thing here, okay? Two of swords reversed, but it's about to be very clear to you who you are. Two of wands, it's about to be very clear to you um, who it is that you are on the inside. And I actually feel like this is bringing in some kind of... Um, contract some kind of it might be a person but i'm feeling this this felt, felt like a contract with god or something okay um 
I'm hearing somebody got the job or something like that. Somebody, somebody like you might receive some kind of like opportunity, but this feels like a spiritual opportunity. This feels like an energetic thing. Okay. Um, this doesn't necessarily feel like somebody's going to come to you and be like, Oh, Hey, this, 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 this feels like maybe you were tested like, like Odin as well. Okay. Like maybe you were tested spiritually or something like that. And, uh, I don't know. I feel like you did well, okay? Even though you were blinded, at some point, like, you did have some kind of revelation about this whole situation, okay? Or this is what's coming for you. The Tower Reverse. Yeah, I feel like you don't need to worry about things crumbling. I'm hearing to say crumbling anymore because I feel like you gathered some kind of balance by noticing your own integrity, okay? I'm even hearing noticing your willingness to, to say when you were wrong or to accept when you were wrong, okay? Because that's courage as well, right? That's very integral. Uh, that's very much in integrity is what I'm trying to say. Queen of Cups reverse. Maybe, you know, maybe for some of you, you might have realized, I'm getting, maybe for some of you, you might have realized that um, you tend to be a little bit emotionally manipulative, or maybe this is actually the person that was actually trying to emotionally manipulate you into thinking that you are not in integrity. Maybe they were uh, trying to bring some kind of tower moment, and maybe they did. Maybe, um, I'm, I'm I'm hearing shaitan, okay, like the accuser or the the something like that, maybe an energy like that, like the accuser, right? So maybe you did go through some kind of time. Now I'm being drawn to the story of Job again, okay. Um, anyway, maybe you did go through some kind of tower or something like that due to some kind of emotional manipulation. Um, but I feel like you were very like in integrity. I want to say maybe you were very humble about it. Okay. And that is what is causing this, this, um, uh, like new contract or this new energy to be offered to you. Okay. Um, even though like at some point I feel like you weren't a hundred percent in your moral code or something like that. I'm seeing 4114 as I said that. Um, do you know that that was just a reflection of your own hurts, of your own trauma? Okay. And none of us are a hundred percent perfect. So don't beat yourself up about that. Okay. Nine of Cups, yeah. Uh, you get the wish fulfillment, pile number four. You get the you get the the happiness. And again, I need to reverberate. It's because you were in integrity. You get happiness, and this is coming much faster than you think. Okay, the lovers as well, um, <clears throat> and the Hierophant and the King of Cups reverse. Whew, I feel like that might be that might be an ex external person and the ten of pentacles. Some of you, some of you might be getting the full package at some point. But again, I feel like I don't want to say that because this feels much more energetic and much more spiritually centered. Um, you just need to know, like, even even if at some point you did act out of darkness, you were still like more than 50% in integrity. And that's like saying something, okay? That's saying something, especially um, if you if you have been dealing with a lot of darkness or a lot of initiations or a lot of um, like deaths, okay? It's your destiny. So death, rebirth, exactly. Like, I feel like, again, every death you go through purifies you into a cleaner diamond. Um, I think that's what the Jews believe hell to be too. They believe that everybody goes to Gehenna or Sh Sheol or something like that. No, Sheol is the grave. They go to the to the fires of hell only to be purified uh, so that they can be re-entered into heaven, into the presence of God, okay? That's what I feel like was happening. You were honing your, 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 um, you were honing your integrity, you were honing your morality, but morality not as in any, any, anything other than, like, you wanting to be the best version of yourself that you can be, okay, because fuck rules, right, rules don't really matter if there's no love behind that, if there's no real intention behind that, rules don't matter if you only follow the rules because you're afraid, then that, that's not, that's not integrity, that's fear, right, that's a complacency, that is uh, servitude or subservience, again, the nine of water, look at this, I mean, it's all to get from the top, the maiden, you are about to have some kind of rebirth in, like, profound, like, like, um, youthful energy, like, like, um, 
enjoying life, you know, dancing, wanting to love, etc., etc. You know, like like enjoy, like like wanting to live the best life you can. Wanting, and I'm even hearing like like for some for some reason, some kind of humble experience that you had again, also with the hanged man and integrity. Some kind of hu humbling experience that you had um, is actually bringing more light out of you. You're like, oh my god, wow, this was amazing, or something like that. Okay, um, and do you know the nine of cups twice because of your 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 your, your this strength of your heart um you are about to have like a double nine of cups um which it's not a double ten of cups so it might not be complete emotional fulfillment but this is because it's a double nine of cups this feels like to me um you get this thing and this thing so you get like like both but maybe with some kind of trade-off maybe like not a hundred percent because you weren't a hundred percent or something like that but i don't know like Nine out of ten is still fucking amazing. Okay, like that is fucking great. And that ten percent is just gonna be you being like, ah, oh, well, it's the world. Four, 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 four. Ah, oh, well, it's the world. It's a three D that I'm still in. That's the only one point that you're missing. You know, you're not completely in the spirit or with God, uh, but close enough maybe. But I don't even want to say close enough because that feels like it's taking away from this energy because it doesn't feel close enough. This feels like. This feels like your reward for being, for being like nine out of 10. I mean, that's pretty fucking amazing. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave it just as that. Like, again, I don't, I don't want to say, I don't want to say that, like, <clears throat> I don't want to say that, um, just let me reverberate this. I don't want to say that like you didn't do enough or whatever because you still did amazing. None of us can be a hundred percent. Okay. So you are getting wish fulfillment because of your, um, of your strength, uh, the strength of your heart. Okay. The strength of the love that you carry, despite the darkness that sometimes creeps in, um, that one point of darkness is still vastly beyond what I feel like you could have even actually expected of yourself. Okay. Palm number four. Thank you so much. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing and I will see you again for another one. Satnam. Bye.